Sup guys, Crux117 here with another epic dragon battle, Guild Wars 2. Um, this one will be against uh, the Claw of Jormag. It's not actually Jormag, which is one of the elder dragons in the lore of the game. Uh, a lot of people get it confused with Jormag, but this is just one of his lieutenants. Um, you see right here, there's, there's a quest leading up to it where Claw of Jormag spawns these like big ice crystal shard things that you have to destroy so um, that's where I'm starting at right now and I'll skip through a bunch of this crap it takes a while I uh, will say that this dragon battle is definitely much more difficult than the Shatterer and Tequatl that you saw earlier um, takes quite a bit longer too, it is multiple stages but um, we'll get to that in just a second um, as you can probably see um, about to hit level 80 which I do hit in this video as well so uh, that was really cool I was kinda hoping I'd hit level 80 in the dragon fight but um, I ended up getting a little bit before we fought him but it was still a really cool experience getting to do this last big fight in, uh, in this area and hitting max level in Guild Wars this right here is uh, where I ding finish off this last dragon crystal and there it is it'll be coming over those mountains any second I just know it finish taking out the rest of these little guys um there he is right there you see him flying around just getting ready to land here any minute See the cannons behind me shooting at him. Uh, those are what take him out and bring him down to the ground. You can't operate those cannons. Um, yeah, I'll show you. This is where he lands. Um, he has a variety of different moves, like these fears that he does every time he lands. He does two of those, and they're very long range fears. And then he starts shooting these walls of ice shards down that knock you all the way back and will probably kill you if you get hit by all of them. And he also spawns more of those ice shards that spawn the little bad guys. Uh, as you can see there's a wall here. You have to take the wall out first and this is basically the first part of this dragon fight. Um, you take out the wall and then it stuns the dragon so you go take him out or do damage to him and then he'll fly off come back and you do that until you get him a little bit lower than halfway. As you see right here, you can pick up Charzuka, which is recommended for this first part of the fight. Um, it's good to keep yourself mobile and shoot at the wall from a distance. Uh, <clears throat> I definitely die a lot in this video, <laughs> um, but it was a very fun fight. I'll show you right here what happens once you take down the wall. <clears throat> and you hear right there the walls down and you see him stunned so you run up uh, you can just keep shooting with the Charzuka if you want I prefer to just go in drop the Zuka and switch to my my main weapons and fight him that way do more damage uh, it's kinda up to you how you tackle this but yeah as you can see take the wall out get him stunned do damage to him then he goes airborne again Flies around, cannon shoot him back down, he drops, spawns another wall, and then yeah, you start all over again. And then you just run down here, pick up another Charzuka, and start the whole process over until you get him down about, like I said, halfway, maybe a little more. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this fight because it took it took around 20 minutes I think for the whole fight maybe a little less than that it's pretty much the same stuff you're doing over and over again
Alright, here's the last time we take down the wall. And, uh, <clears throat> this is where we get him down to over halfway. It starts the next part of this fight. Goes airborne, you run back down the hill. You'll hear them say when I get down here that they adjusted the cannons, so this time when they shoot them out of the sky, you get a little bit different result. Eternal vigilance. The cannons have been adjusted. This time we'll bring it down for good. And here starts part two. Now this part, um, pretty much kind of the same deal as before. Uh, I didn't really understand exactly what we were supposed to do. Um, if you run down here while he's up, he will do lots of damage as you'll see me go down several times. A lot of people stayed on the ledge to the right that you see over there that was kind of elevated a little bit. Uh, most of the people just stayed over there and shot at him for the rest of the fight. Um, that's probably a good way to do it if you keep your Charzuka or if you have ranged weapons. Uh, I kind of just ran around and died a lot and tried to go in and attack him and revive people and kind of just take in the whole fight. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll let you guys just watch the rest of this fight. And um, I thought it was pretty cool. Glad to hit level 80 finally. Uh, working on several other characters now. And I'm probably now that I'm max level Probably gonna be doing a little bit more with Mr. Pandaria and Wild. Try to hit max level on that, so I can kind of put that game to rest for a while, and then come back to this full time. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun, and uh, thanks for watching. And enjoy the rest of this fight and my terrible skills at taking down dragons. Watch the legends. Refreshing.
to defeat anything! The wall's down! Strike now while it's stunned! I was in some deep trouble there. For great justice! For great justice! <laughs> 